and grinders, hoagies and grinders, navy beans, navy beans, meatloaf sandwich. Sloppy Joe, slop, sloppy Joe. This is going to be the stupidest review ever. I just drove 100 miles to pay a dollar for the world's smallest sloppy Joe. I was curious. I figured I'd review it. Whether or not you may know, White Castle just announced that they are releasing Sloppy Joes now as part of their slider lineup. So I drove a really, really long ways to go to a White Castle with a very rude crew that would leave you standing at the counter with nobody else in front of you in line. Ten minutes, maybe more. No one making eye contact because they might have to come and take your order. Whew, it was rough and it was kind of grubby in there and whatever. I don't know why people like White Castle, but I was just reading an article, BuzzFeed or something on YouTube. It was foods that people don't eat anymore. I'm like Sloppy Joe was like right there on the top of the list. I'm like, I make Sloppy Joes all the time. And then the very next day, White Castle announces their new Sloppy Joe. So I got a Sloppy Joe for a dollar. But I also got, you know, and I was very curious, they had the Impossible Burger there. Not a lot of people have had that. So I did get an Impossible Burger, and I got a real regular slider to go along with it so I can compare them. There's a regular slider. There's my Impossible Slider. And this is their new product. This is what White Castle came out with just this week. The Sloppy Joe. And it's a dollar. You give me four bucks, I can whip you up four or five full-size beauty monster sloppy joes. But this was a buck. And I can't get it out. There we go. It's got a slice of cheese on it, so I guess that makes up some of the price. There we go. Sloppy joe with cheese, which I don't even understand that. You don't put cheese on a sloppy joe, but <laughs> White Castle's new $1 sloppy joe. Eat about 15 of these, maybe. It's very coincidental that we were singing Lunch Lady Land, or I was. Because this tastes exactly like a high school sloppy joe. Tastes like a sloppy joe, tastes fine. Just make sloppy joes, don't pay a dollar for this. That doesn't make any sense. It's fine, it tastes like a high school sloppy joe. It's not too dry. But it doesn't taste like, exactly like Manwich. That's what I like. That's the epitome of the Sloppy Joe, is Manwich. <clears throat> I got, um, this is strawberry flavored Dr. Pepper. They have those cool pop machines there, you can pick everything. Tastes a lot like Fago Red Pop. Alright, that's out of the way. We did our sloppy, sloppy gel. Now, this is something I'm curious about. This is the new Impossible Burger. They have it at, um, they've had it for a little while now. Actually, Michigan Video Maker was the first person I saw this re review this. And actually, the only person. So, um, good for him. But I do want to give it a try. Tell you what I think about it. This is not meat. This is like peas and... Carrots. I don't know. There's protein, but there's no, it's not meat. I was like, it smells the bun. What do you think, little buddy? It's got pickles and cheese. And no meat. There it is. 
So what do I think? What do I think of the no meat hamburger from White Castle? I like it. I'd eat this every day. There's nothing wrong with that. Tastes like a hamburger to me. Texture feels like a hamburger. I've heard they're in some restaurants in Vegas are even improving on it as we speak, but I like it. Tastes like a burger to me. Hot dog! Good job. That was impossible. All right. Here's one of the originals. How? Wow, that's thin. Look how thin that is. A little tiny pickle, some onions. The regular, traditional White Castle slider. I just got known the impossible, which has a smoky flavor. Which kind of, I think they're adding that to hide the fact that it's not meat. Well, <clears throat> you know what that tastes like? White Castle sliders have a very distinct flavor, kind of like meatloaf. It tastes a lot like meatloaf on a nice steamed dinner roll. Never, I've never associated them with hamburgers. They don't taste like hamburgers to me. It tastes like meatloaf. Impossible slider. It was like, um, they're like two bucks. And, um, oh yeah, yeah, and the Floppy Joe's a buck. There's like two bucks. These are like 50 cents. Something like that. Breaks down. I'm going with the impossible. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit of a smoke flavor, but I think it's got... It's got smoked cheddar on it, so that may add to the smokiness. Probably does. Oh, yeah. Got little funny things on there. I'm going to say Impossible Burger. Sloppy Joe. <laughs> Impossible Burger. Really good. I like a nice big full size one. Um. I'd say um, the Impossible Burger tastes way better than the regular original slider. Thanks for watching. I appreciate if you actually did sit through this whole <laughs> review of a sloppy Joe. Thanks for watching. There he is, the original sloppy Joe.